Woo! Welcome back. Uh, didn't see you come in. Uh, have you ever uh, wanted to change the gauge of your strings on your guitar, but you're maybe afraid to do it, or you've heard it would mess everything up? Well, that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna, this is uh, also effective on electric guitars, too, by the way. Got this Martin guitar here. It's got .013s to .056s on it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll bring the camera over here and we will take some measurements and I'm going to replace those strings with a uh, .010 to .047s, much lighter string than what's on there right now. And then we will, I'm not going to adjust anything, I'm just going to change the strings, that's all. And then we'll take those readings again, take those measurements again, and I'll show you how much difference dropping down in gauge will cause. I don't know if these is light gauge. Maybe it doesn't say on the pack. I don't think they're light gauge. These are, they're, uh, they say they're medium, but they're actually a pretty heavy string. 13 to 56 is, but they call them mediums. Well, we're going to go from 13 to 56 down to 10s to 47s. First, let me bring the camera over, bring you closer, and uh, we'll get some measurements. Hold on. And we are back. First thing I want to do is check the nut action, the nut or first fret action. This should be at 18 thousandths is what I had it set. I need glasses. I can't see without me glasses. Okay, I've got an 18, I've got a 10 and an 8 here. This won't change very much. Now you can see it's exactly 18 thousandths. Should be the same over here. Yes. 18 thousandths, dead on the money. Okay. Stick a capo on here. We'll get the neck relief. You guys remember that 18 thousandths nut action for me. Now, the truss rod is up in here. The adjustment is up in here a little way. So I'm going to note the 17th fret. Well, I better get a 12 out here. I'm going to note the 17th fret. Come down here to the 7th, 8th, and 9th frets. Raises it a little bit there. Yeah, it goes under there, but it's tight. If I can hold on to it. It's a it's probably an eleven. Let me drop down here too. Let's try a ten. I don't have an eleven, I have a ten. Yeah, it's a 10. Okay. So the neck relief is 10 thousandths. Alrighty then. 18 thousandths first fret action. 10 thousandths on the uh, neck relief. I picked this thing up wrong every time I ever picked it up in my life. I got to spin it and turn it. All right. Bass string, low E action, 12th fret, is 664. Exactly. Uh, high E, 12th fret, is 4, 564s. The high E is 564s, the low E is 664. So you guys remember those numbers. 564, 664, 10 thousandths, 18 thousandths. Okay? Now, all I'm going to do is put these strings on it. And, like I say, they are a 10 to a 47. So, it's a quite a bit lighter string than those 1356s are. And I'll put them on, stretch them out, play it a little bit probably, and bring you back. I'm not going to adjust anything or change anything or tighten or loosen anything. <laughs> and I'll bring you back and we'll take these same measurements again. And you can see what changing the gauge of strings on your guitar does to the guitar. Hold on. Okay, we're back. we got brand new strings on and it's tuned to pitch. I didn't adjust anything. Never touched any. All I did was just 
put the new strings on, took the old ones off. Okay, I got 18 here. I've got a, a 10 and an 8. I don't imagine this up here is going to change very much. It might be a little bit tighter going in there, but yeah, see, yeah, there at the third string a little bit. And a fourth. It's a little bit closer than it was, but not very much. And keep in mind, too, you know, this is going to vary. Some guitars will not move at all. Usually the more expensive ones don't. If you go up or down one gauge. Now, I need a 12. Just uh, bear with me a second here. Uh, there's a 12. We'll note 17th fret again. 7th, 8th, and 9th frets here we're going to check. No, that was a 10, wasn't it? Yeah. I always set them at 12. That's why I did that. Okay, I have a 10 now. 17th fret, I'm going to check 7, 8, and 9. And we, just as I figured, we have lesser neck relief. It's lesser than it was. It was 10. Now it's less than that. It won't even go under that string. That's how much it changed on this guitar. And this is a solid guitar. It's a a Martin MMV model. Well, let's see what it is. See how much it changed. Let me go down to an 8. Here's an 8. It's over there a little bit. Probably could even go down to a 7. Here's a seven. That's still shoving that string up a tiny bit. Maybe. Now see the seven won't go under there. That's how much this guitar changed. Okay, here's a three. Look how thin that is. Now remember, this was at 10 when we before we changed these strings. I'm going to roll with the three. It won't go under these two without lifting the string, but it, it's even tight there. Yeah, it's a three. Went all the way down from 10 to a 3, guys. It's a big change. It's a big difference. And that's, uh, these are, let me find the pack here. It says right here, I don't know if you can see it, extra light. I think you can see that maybe. So we went from a medium gauge, what they call a medium gauge, to an extra light. And we check the string action. It's going to be uh, lower than it was, I'm guessing. Picked it up wrong again. I do it every time. We were at 664 here, okay? And we're setting at uh, the, the low E at the 12th fret at 564 now. It dropped a whole 64th. The high E was 564 just as I figured it's 460 for us now. So what happened was, the relief in the neck, heavier strings pulls more relief in the neck. So if I put lighter strings on and leave the relief where it's set, the truss rod, leave it alone, those lighter strings are not going to have as much stress. So the neck is going to straighten out a little bit. Same with the belly up. If it's got, it doesn't have much of a belly, but you know, what belly it has, there's going to be lesser of it. So, by the neck straightening out, that's pulling the strings closer. The, the belly not being pulled up as hard is allowing them to be closer. And, uh, you know, it's just a uh, different stress on the entire guitar. Like I say, some guitars will move more than others. This is not a real expensive guitar. It is a Martin, but it's not a really, really expensive one by any means. Not compared to my other one. But you can see it moved that much just from going from a medium gauge to a 
extra light gauge string. I'm anxious to hear what it does to the sound of it. I should have played it before I put it on with the old strings and then let you hear that compared to these little ones. These tiny strings do not move the top like uh, heavier strings do. So it's going to sound different too. Hold on. Doesn't sound nearly as loud or good. And it's got string buzz. Reason being because that relief was not being pulled into there by those heavier strings. I could adjust the truss rod and get that buzzing out. But my point is to show you all what, you know, what happens when you go to a different string gauge. What happens to your setup. That's bad. So what have we learned today? Well, your guitar was built around a certain gauge of string, and that's what the manufacturer always recommends. Now you should stick to very close to that, and probably light gauge coming down from mediums that were on here, if I would just went with regular light gauge, I might not have that buzzing, because they would pull a little bit more relief into the neck. Uh, going down to extra lights definitely way too much. Now same thing if you move up in gauge. If you have mediums and you move to a heavy or extra heavy, you're going to pull a whole lot more relief into that neck and the opposite is going to happen. Your action is going to get higher. You're going to get more belly here that will also make the action raise. And uh, it's going to pull your guitar apart eventually. Uh, like I say, some more expensive guitars that doesn't move as much. You know, I was talking about on another video when you break a string on a loose guitar and all the strings go out when one string breaks. On a tight guitar, you break a string, all the other strings remain in tune. Uh, this guitar obviously is a little bit loose, not very bad though, but for a Martin, I'm surprised it's that much. But you can hear that buzzing. That's from going too far. Uh, in a, in a gauge change, okay? I went from mediums, what they call mediums, I kind of call those, kind of, they're kind of heavy. 13 to 56 is a heavy string, but they call them mediums. And on this pack, they call them extra lights, so that's too much. I could have probably went down to just light gauge. Uh, these were these are 10s. Probably would have went with a 11 or a 12. And it wouldn't have this buzzing. It would definitely sound better because a heavier string on acoustic guitar moves that top more. You get more uh, vibration out of it, more sound. That's, that's horrible. But uh, I'll, after this video, I'll tweak the truss rod so I can play these strings a while. They're way lighter than I like. But, uh, you know, I can adjust the truss rod, just a tiny tweak of the rod, put more relief back into the neck, about 10 where it was, maybe 12, and play it a while that way, see if I get used to it and like them or not. But 
I prefer heavy string, heavier strings on a guitar like this, a dreadnought guitar. But uh, hopefully that helps you guys to know what happens when you go up or down in the gauge of strings that are recommended for your guitar. Like I say, your guitar is built for a certain gauge string. And if you veer very far heavier or lighter from that, from their rec the, the company's uh, recommendations, you're going to either damage your guitar if you go heavier, or if you go lighter, like I did here, you're going to have this this stuff uh, buzzing and just uh, there's the buzzing there. So yeah, man, hope that helps. Uh, stick with the gauge string that your your guitar recommends, manufacturer's uh, recommendation. Stick very close to that. If you have 13s, you can safely go down to 12 or 14, uh, if they even make that. But, uh, you know, one gauge one way or the other, probably is not, you're probably going to be okay. But uh, you go like two, two gauges like I did from mediums down, not lights, but to extra lights is too much. You're going to have to adjust some things to make it play right and sound right. And there again, a lot of cheaper guitars like Harmony and some of those are built like a freaking tank, man. You can tell because they're so heavy. Those guitars, a lot of those don't give or move as much as a more expensive one might, you know because they're built so heavily. It kills the sound of them, but, uh, you know, I guess that's the price you pay. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you on another video soon. We'll cover more green candy. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Ooh. What? Woo! Ow! Tell him! Ow!